DJ Dating Belly Stereo and today I will be sharing with you this color examination right now. Thank you very much. 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 Remove the drape and observe. Check the abdomen if it is flat, slightly globular, or already globular. You take note of the stray gravitarum. You note this stray gravitarum if the patient is pregnant. What happens to the linea nigra? And are there any other lesions noted when doing your inspection? The fundic height. The fundic height or the height of the fundus in an enlarged uterus is measured from the symphysis pubis to the uterus. Auscultation. Using stereoscope, listen to the bowel sounds and fetal heart tone. Remember that the normal bowel sounds are 5 to 34, while the fetal heart rate is 120 to 160 beats per minute. At 22 weeks, all patients' FHT should already be audible. Since our patient is already on her 28 weeks of gestation, her FHT is already appreciated. Hypoactive or absent bowel sounds may imply an ill use caused by peritoneal irritation of the bowel, while hyperactive bowel sounds may imply intrinsic irritation of the bowel or partial or complete obstruction. You must auscultate the abdomen before performing percussion and palpation maneuvers, which may alter the characteristics of bowel sounds. Percussion Percussion is done 
to determine whether the sounds are appropriate for the underlying structure of the quadrant. This provides information about the consistency of the abdomen, as well as the size and borders of some structures. Palpation or the loopholes maneuver. The fundal grip. It is done to assess what part of the fetus occupies the fundus. It also identifies the fecal line. The umbilical grip. With this, palms are placed on either sides of the maternal abdomen and then gentle and deep pressure is applied. This is done to determine the fetal orientation. The Paulic's grip aids confirmation of fetal presentation from the fundal grip. The thumb and fingers of one hand grasp the lower portion of the maternal abdomen just above the symphysis pubis. The pelvic grip this maneuver resembles the fundal grip. However, it also determines the degree of fetal descent. So, according to the result of your abdominal physical examination, Pam, your LMP, as stated a while ago, is October 11, 2021, isn't it? So, your expected date of confinement is on July 18, 2022. The age of gestation of your fetus is uh, 28 weeks and one day. The FHD that I heard a while ago is a little listen also to this one. Uh, it's 144 bits per minute. Uh, I located the fetal back on the population at the left lower quadrant. The footing height that we measured a while ago is about 30 centimeters from the symphysis pubis up to the siphoid process. Uh, on the inspection, I noted that there's, there are some scars, which you said you took it while scratching when you had an allergy, and there is also a visible sign of linea nigra. However, you just don't have a uh, prominent straight gravidarum as we've seen upon inspection. So that's all for the result. And Last but not the least, um, doing the Lippold's maneuver or the palpation, I found out that the fetus is already in the cephalic position. Meaning, um, it's, the head part is already situated on your vaginal part. So, that's all for, for the result. Um, would you like to ask me something? Um, okay. I'll see you again on your next consultation, probably on your. 32nd week of the See you, Mom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.